Hey folks, welcome to another video. Today you'll learn how to use emails as a lead source. For instance, upon receiving an email, the information provided within can be used to form a lead card that you can work with, thus getting a new entry in your sales pipeline. Naturally, the process is automated at every possible angle, so personal involvement is there only when it's necessary. Just like we wanted, right? Today we'll don the hat of a recruiter, seeking out candidates to fill out a position at our totally real Strike Web agency. Well then, let's see how it works. To get the ball rolling, we've decided to make a simple ad on Instagram and share it with our audience via a story. Hopefully our experienced and stress-resistant potential team members will start to pour in and send in their CVs to the provided email address. It is at this moment we realize that the ad is there and our pipeline isn't set up yet. Hehe, <laughs> whoops. We'd better fix it real quick. First things first, a new pipeline. Let's go to the lead section. Press on the pipeline name and click add pipeline. We'll call it a uh, hiring. Yeah, that'll do. The next step for us is to make sure every pipeline stage is up to date with our hiring process. Otherwise, it won't make sense. Let's put these in. Reviewed. Interviewed. Offer made. Offer accepted. There. Done. Now all we need is to make sure the leads keep flowing in. Now we need to add our email address as a lead source if we want all these CVs to come to our CRM and not just lay there doing nothing. This step is quite straightforward and quick. To connect the email address, proceed to the lead section. Click on Setup, Lead Sources and select Email. Enter your email address and press Continue. You will have to provide information about your mail, such as IMAP and SMTP servers. At this point, you have to choose whether you want your inbox to remain personal. You might ask, what's the difference between shared and personal inboxes? Good question. Personal inboxes are mails any user in Amo CRM can connect to, and only the person that is connected to it will see the contents of their inbox. It won't be possible to use this email address for automated actions or as a lead source. A personal inbox can also be shared with the account administrator. There's a special checkbox for that if you want your admins to have access to it as well. Shared inboxes are available to all the users on the account and can only be added by the account administrator. These inboxes can be used in automation, act as a lead source, and many other things. It's best to use email addresses like contact at strikewebagency.com rather than named emails for this purpose. You can switch the inbox modes later on in the mail section by clicking settings and selecting your email address. So, let's leave our inbox in shared mode. We can also group messages into threads by clicking this checkbox here and all the emails under the same subject name and address will be grouped together in the lead card. You have an option of receiving every email as a separate entry if you choose to. You can also check the box here to create a contact for every email address you reply to, which can be quite handy if you have a high volume of incoming emails. Once you connect your inbox, your emails will be imported and every single contact that isn't in the system yet in one way or another will be created as well. That'll save a lot of manual work when you import your email and contact database. All right, save and done. Another useful feature you'll find really handy when it comes to emails is the templates. Why would you enter an answer to a typical question over and over again when you can just whip out your canned response that'll get the job done? Exactly, click add a template to make a new one, enter a name for it, enter the subject, and of course the text itself. You can even attach files and personalize the email with the help of markers. You could use recipient name, username, user phone, and others. All of this data is parsed automatically, so you won't have entered your own credentials or your contact's data. Be careful though, make sure the contact data is there in the first place. Otherwise, that template won't be as pretty as it would seem otherwise. Let's try and do it ourselves. Time to customize an email. 
say let's add the recipient name and username there and there now this data is automatically added when we send it out brilliant at this point the email lead source is connected and we're ready for all the developers yearning to work at our place oh yes well almost ready Our next step is checking this box here. Create a lead when responding to clients, which can ensure a more straightforward sales workflow when responding to emails. You get an incoming message, you respond to it, and the lead is automatically created out of it in your sales pipeline, not just the contact. And save. Now let's take a look at the big picture. This is our digital pipeline, the top-down view on the entire sales flow. As you can see, applicants are already pouring in and we can see the progress on every single one. The pipeline is highly customizable, it's updated in real time, and every lead card contains the conversation that is held within any communication sources. Click on the lead card to see the lead profile. As you can see, all the information the system could grab is already there. The subject name, lead name, phone number, the email, and if there's any communication going on, you can also see it in the feed. Since this lead is unqualified as of yet, we can choose to accept it or decline it. It's helpful when you receive spam emails or requests that shouldn't be in your pipeline. All it takes is one click to sort that out. This one's lucky, so let's accept it. The lead then moves to the next stage of the pipeline, meaning it's time for us to take a closer look at our applicant. Let's see, looks like that's exactly what we're looking for. Time to ping a colleague to come and have a look-see at that. Indeed, your entire team can chat with you within the lead profile. And the history is shared between all members who have access to it. Now let's respond to the email we've received and let our candidate know that we're interested in progressing further. We can start by typing it all in. Yeah, no. Let's use our template we've made it just for this purpose. And send. Move the lead to the next stage. And let's set a task to our HR manager to interview the candidate tomorrow at 6 p.m. The next thing that happened, the interview successfully took place and our applicant provided their phone number, which we will then use to continue communication via WhatsApp. Now our lead can move on to the next stage of our pipeline. An offer is ready for our candidate. Let's go share the good news with our anxious candidate who's more than ready to join our team. And send. Since time is of the essence, let's communicate with our new teammate over WhatsApp and let them know that they're welcome to join us. Over WhatsApp, typing in the message. And that's the end of the cycle for one closed position. Many, many others to go, though it's much easier than doing it all manually. So far, we've learned how to use emails as a lead source, hired a new front-end developer, and built a flow that will make the hiring process much more simple and straightforward. That's only one of the examples of how emails can act as a lead source. Put your mind to it and you can make emails work for your business as well. Bring these leads in and drive sales forward. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.